tutorial, we will look at how to migrate a legacy HASP key to use the new LDK type licensing. Before we begin the migration process, there are a few details we need to confirm. The first of these are that there aren't any firewalls, whether that be the built-in Windows firewall or a third-party firewall preventing outbound communication on port 8081, which is used by the migration tool. An example of how to check the outbound communication is to use the test-net connection command in PowerShell. As we can see here, I've entered the command, along with the address, and the port which the system needs access to for the migration process to be successful. I'll run the command which will test the communication is allowed. As we can see from the results, the test is completed successfully. The second thing that we need to check is that the HASP key we have hasn't already been migrated. The process for checking the key has already been migrated can be found in the EMS offline activation video as shown here. The process for checking the license type in use starts at approximately 30 seconds into the video. Whilst confirming that the HASP key hasn't already been migrated, we can also confirm that the licenses on the key are still valid, or that we have licenses remaining, both of which are necessary for the migration to be completed successfully. In the example of the HASP key I'm going to be using, we can see that I have several licenses, which are still valid remaining on the key as shown in the HASP tool. Now that we have checked all the necessary details, we can begin the migration of the key. This can be done by downloading the Blanco HASP migration tool using the link provided in the instructions, which are attached to the email which you will have received. If you haven't received a copy of the email shown here, please contact your account manager who will be able to arrange for the email to be sent to you. The migration tool can be downloaded using the link provided in the instructions attached to the email. We can see an example of the instructions here and the link for downloading shown here. Once the tool has been downloaded and the folder extracted, we can begin the migration process. The migration tool is already running on my system, as we can see here. First, we need to confirm that the HASP key is still connected. Once that's been done, we can click the Migrate License button. The communication is checked, and if successful, the migration process will be performed. Once the migration has been completed successfully, we will see a message as shown here, confirming that the process was successful. We can further confirm that the licenses have been migrated by checking the Sentinel Admin Control Center page, as we can see here from the Features section. We can now see the licenses shown here. This confirms the migration is successful. This completes the tutorial. Thank you for using Blanco.